Okay, we're live. Uh, I was going to start with some packages I received. Here is one. Uh, so, what do you think these are? Oops, lots of little pieces, parts in here. Cool. From Keybio. I haven't ordered from them before, I don't think. A little return package. I got Amoeba single switch PCB. Uh, some 2U singles, like five of those, and then two 30 packs of the single switch PCBs. So, let's see. I have a project going on the side. In fact, let me try to bring it up real quick because maybe that won't help. If, uh, let me get it on your screen. Let's see. Uh, this uh, so this is, I'll show you about this uh, Amoeba here. So desktop, yeah. So in Desk Authority yesterday, it took me like six hours, but I posted to workshop about my deck LK201. And uh, long story short, I made these uh, uh, basically redid these plastic uh, assemblies that you see here and uh, I'm trying to get them ready for uh, for doing a hand wire which I've never done and uh, one of the things I thought is the hand wires look messy but uh, the amoeba single single switch single uh, switch PCBs seem to make it cleaner from what I saw yeah, I so I ordered these and uh, basically I was just looking at them but it's kind of complicated, but the deck keyboard is interesting because the keycaps are longer than they are wide by a, a fair bit, and these plastic assemblies are what have that gap between them. Well, anyways, this is uh, a PCB equivalent. I mean, this is a um, Cherry MX equivalent of what that a plastics assembly would look like, so I can pop my switches in like that. But uh, I was wanting to see if the Amoeba would fit, and of course it, it doesn't. It's too uh, too wide for the for the too wide to fit in there. So I'll have to, you know, I think I could still. What I'll end up doing is probably uh, trying to widen these parts enough to get an Amoeba in there. It's ugly. Killed my live stream. We are live streaming. Okay. Looks like nothing. Okay. Hopefully it's just behind over there. I can't quite tell, but uh, very far behind. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to continue. Uh, I'm going to work on the Epson today. So I think all the parts are clean, and so I'm going to explore a little bit about rubber dome, and if it works, I'm going to go for it. And uh, let me bring some of those parts over here. Let's go like this. Singles. Here's our replacement foam. Um, I did not. There's the PCB that I cleaned. I'll just quickly give this a feel if it's. Um, felt like it was kind of uh, I did I cleaned this with baking soda and stuff and when it was done I had some like streaks of white residue a little bit but I think I looks not too bad 
I'm gonna look right here and see if those come off. Mm. I'm trying to see some of the light in the time. Uh, let me see this is upside down. Uh, I need to kind of revisit. Basically what we're going to do, what I want to do is um, I've cleaned all this stuff. Uh, I want to try whether the new, the only real question is, is this foam too, too tall and too thick for, for this, for this thing. And it might be, jeez, oops. So I don't quite know yet. I got, as we got some of the other toys. Here's the keyboard itself. I mean, the case. And there's a bag of other goodies. Oh, the keycaps. Uh, oh yeah, and then here is like uh, some cords, but we're gonna need these uh, light bases to do this test. So, let's see, that's pretty dang thick actually. But, I need it to work, so let's see here, flash fingers. That's my printer. Someone printed on the printer. It's like a bunch of racket in the back one. Okay. Let's get out these. Okay, so. I kind of have forgotten what what it uh, looks like, so let's flip over to hopefully my video where I tore it down and we'll, we'll learn what we need to do here. So let me put desktop on. Let me. By the way, this was my post on desktop. Already took me six hours to make, so if you're interested, you can go read it, and it's in the. Uh, the workshop forum and it's labeled the topic is deck lk201 so now i'm going to go to youtube and try to go see um, youtube studio let's go find my videos let's find the epson teardown This one, Epson Teardown, okay. Launch this guy, which sounds off, which is great. Let's see if we can kind of see what happened when we. So, first we took the caps off, and then here's what must happen here shortly. Oops, okay, let's see. So, I think we just basically. Space for me is a pain in the butt. This one, if I'd have taken the case apart and I could get at it from the bottom, I think that would have been the proper way. And I'll maybe try that in some future videos, but I think I somehow got lucky and got it off without breaking it. But it's lucky if I did. Yes, you Okay, so then, with, okay, so we got, we took the back case off, screws and and it just lifted right off, I guess. Okay. The feet were kind of attached. Okay, it slid right off. Good. And then we were left with some feet and some screws. So, and then here we go. We're lifting off the. Must be. Okay. Let's see if we got all the screws in there. Okay, we did. What's underneath? A bunch of stuff gonna fall out, probably. I can't remember. Okay, there we go. So you can kind of see that a rubber down. I think that's enough. I think I saw enough there to figure out what we're trying to do. So we want to simulate. 
a key or two that with and without the phone. So I'm gonna <coughs> lay this. I put this. Uh, the, oh, these holes go to the. Yeah, over there. Okay, cool. <coughs> so if I want this guy. Definitely down so I'm gonna pick like these two guys so we're gonna use a single and a single I'm gonna put some foam it's not gonna be attached but I'm gonna put it inside this one first of all I'm not convinced it fits if it's a foam I think yeah, I should double check that it might be a little wider than I thought Wow, oh, that's gonna be hard if I have to turn that on. And then, let's see, get two of these stem guys out. Mm -hmm. And, I'm sure they go a certain way, but I don't know if I can tell which way. So let's just try to. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Oops, one of them zips. I can tell now that they go this way because uh, I remember the bottom of the, the whole, this thing goes at the bottom, the notch inside the stem there. So it's the third key So there they are fitting on there. Yeah, so let's see if we can see if they can like this correctly. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Not great, I'd say. To go another notch with testing, we could put a couple of kickouts on it. Don't know if I care what row they're on, actually, but let's see what it is here. Let's see what we got here. There's an H that's probably the right row for that. No, actually, it's probably not. Hmm. Put numbers up top and then the next row is QWERTY. I'm sure we find a QWERTY or something related to QWERTY. QWERTY is one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to find something that just normally fits on R2 or whatever we got there. This is supposed to be the way. I don't want to keep looking for it. Here's the B. Let's go to the H. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this R for sure is one. So let's try to make that put that on this one because I want it to try to feel the best it can, even though I think the foam's too much. But. More muted if that doesn't feel as toker like anymore. I think that this one has the has the nice uh, tactile bump when the rubber collapses. This one it's almost completely gone. I mean it's soft, but I'd say I'm not that's not what I was hoping for out of this. Well, looks like I have a dilemma. There's two things going on. I think the foam might be too, uh, too, the circle diameter of the foam is too wide, but like I've been asking questions and unable to get answers, the foam also feels like it's too thick, which, uh, you know, every, every one of these prototoper or brother Bellman foil, 
film and foil that I've that I've watched other people's videos and stuff they they kind of the foam is disintegrated so you can't get a feel for how thick it was in the beginning because none of them have survived so maybe it was but it kind of makes me feel like it was so thin that that's yeah which is very interesting by the way because the stuff that I thought was like rust on here was actually just disintegrated foam actually when I got to cleaning it so um, so the foam is this problem you know it's kind of nice without any foam but that doesn't that won't work because there's no uh, but I kind of to get that topper feel I kind of want I'm saying it's almost good with nothing under it like but then that wouldn't uh, obviously wouldn't register a key press so like if we took so the way this would work is this is a plastic piece that peels off and there's glue and then we'd stick it to the bottom of this rubber mm. up inside the dome here basically and then the mylar is facing down would make the contact and do the key press but um you know i think it's too wide for the Or if it or if it was if it was like this, I wouldn't have enjoyed the keyboard. I guess is what I'm saying. But you know what I'm tempted to do is do my own glue and do my own mylar with no foam and see if it works. You'd have to bottom out every time, but and then you can see here if I press too hard, it it never comes back. I don't know if the foam thickness is to help it come back up. You know, it's hard to show this. Let me see if I can zoom in. Mm -hmm. So what I'm describing right now is, yeah, this is depressed. So, you know, I like, you want it to feel like that, but you don't want it to get stuck down. So this inverted, which raised the whole outer part up so here's what it looks like when it's popped, kind of or stuck down. Let's see here. If I pop it back out, that's what it looks like when it's up. So it's hard to say if the dome uh, keeps from staying depressed by some amount of this foam thickness. Like, so. So I'm gonna say on either the di the diameter's too wide, or the foam's too thick, or both. I'm trying to think right now if there's a way for me to basically take most or all of the foam out. I have some glue on this side that I can peel and stick to the top, but really I need to glue the mylar on. This is the other problem. So could take all these apart. Try to. Tr <coughs> <coughs> trim them smaller right now though let's maybe do some measuring uh, I'll try to look on the <coughs> video with you guys actually I got my glasses here I can look and maybe keep on the screen at the same time <coughs> So, all I would say is this you measurement you is... You take what you get your turn and drag it through. Get all your abilities. Maybe... About 10, 11 and a half. Something like 11 and a half millimeters. Is that, is that what you guys see? Probably, yeah, something like 11, 11 and a half millimeters. Now, what's the bottom of this dome look like? It's right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have yeah, much yeah, light to see, nice. so I'm going to do it for you. It's also, appears to be 
11. So I'd say that matches. Um, unless it's supposed to be smaller. I don't know. I could, yeah. Now what? Um, let me get, oh, I have it right here. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, let's do the measurement from this guy. Same measurement. Oh, my. Put this guy in here and push them down. Eleven point two seven on that, um, and then I was going to say, let's use the this part of the measurement to see what we do up here. But I can't I'm just seeing I'm just seeing I'm not putting the edges. I'd say that's the same. Okay. Uh well I also didn't count my uh foam and foils to see if they have if I have enough to cover this keyboard or if I have any spares and I can play with destroying one or two. So I need a tiny dab of glue to glue the mic. If I tore the foam out, I need a tiny dab of, dab of glue to stick the mylar without leaking out to the this part. And then this part has a peel off glue to go to the underside of the dome. Honestly, I kind of want to try no foam because I'm really after that Topra feel, not the mushy foam feel that goes all the way. It's too deep. I don't know. That's kind of... That sounds like a lot of work though. To... <clears throat> what do I have? I guess it. What's the tiniest dab of glue I can use that won't spill over the edge like crazy glue? Or... I don't know. I'm gonna go get some craggle and see if we can try this experiment. <clears throat> I guess. Am I really gonna do this? Take all the foam out? It's a pretty bad experiment. But I'd say the tactile, once you pass the tactile bump, um, it's going to send you to the bottom out anyway. So I don't see why I need foam to buffer that. But man, it's just hard to tell. I think I need to do, let's do another experiment with <clears throat> four of them, let's see. So we're going to get. I got two foam and foil, two foils. <clears throat> we'll put them on here and here, and then we're gonna get uh, two without. Maybe I'll spread them one apart each. So one here, sure, one here. So we're going to try an <clears throat> experiment again with four of them, with uh, two without any domes in them. I'll type some more and see what it feels like before I make a decision here. So I got to, oh, yeah, that doesn't that work. So you have to have a dome over each one. Actually, I don't know the direction of the dome. Actually, with this time. What? Oh my god. That would just poison damage. I guess they're equal in all the corners. I think. Yeah, that is also just so unlucky because it really does have two damage. There's one. Actually, <clears throat> even better. To line these guys up, I'm going to use a 4 by. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Instead of using a single, whatever dogs I'm going to use a 4 by. That's good. And then there's two. Get a couple more. Out.
Okay, now I'm going to slide our keyboard top back on top of this. Hopefully. Second row and the second character in. Okay. There we go. We have to have four keycaps, so let's fire them up. There. Some of them are the wrong row, but <coughs> that's okay. On the other form one, and then so how to close my eyes. This feels too hollow, I guess. When where there's no foam, it's Sure, I can feel the tactile bump more, but it's kind of too hollow sounding, too much plastic hitting plastic and bottoming out. There, it's growing on me, the foam. <coughs> so now I'm back to the foam is the right answer. And obviously it's less work to not change anything about the, the pre-cut foam that I ordered. Uh, you know, these are... <clears throat> Tex Electric did all the work and cut all these out and glued them all and made it ready to go. And so I think I'm going to take advantage of that and uh, and just go for it. So let's start doing that. Um, I don't need the PCB in the way to show you what's going on there. Let me put away some stuff and we'll start just going for it with the foam. And, uh, so I'll probably just, yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the PCB aside for a sec. Okay. Um, oh, there's my keycaps. Put my keycaps away. Get this little guy here in decoration. Love this thing. I don't like the inch system though. I wish it said uh, Me Too Toyo on the other side, then that would be really cool. Uh, okay, so basically I got, I don't know what's easier to do, these big chunks or these little one at a time, but let's find out. So here's a one. I'm just going to start going for this. So the way I plan on going for it is you just I assume I just take the glue and take the. Some kind of sticky part off of this to get the glue in it. There we go. Turn it back. I don't know how much. <clears throat> Do I need magnification for this? I'm going to put on my glasses to see if I can see what's going on here. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Did I, I just assumed there was some glue under here, but maybe not. I have to glue it? Looking like I have to glue it, folks. Didn't think about that. So once again, I'm not ready to, to do this. I mean, it, it doesn't need to be glued to the top. I mean, can I just set them in there? That's interesting. So there's no, uh, it's just a cut up. The foam's glued to both these layers, but nothing's, <coughs> nothing helps this stay in the dome? Is it is it because it's not going to go anywhere and it's fine? Or? I mean, it's pretty wobbly, right? I guess if it's... <coughs> Let's do a brief read <coughs> of TechSelect's website and see if they mention anything. And if not, I think we're just going to let them freeze down in there with no glue because it wasn't really... I can't tell if it was glued to the top. I also have like rubber cement and stuff, but 
Uh, I don't know the answer to this one, but let's see if we can figure it out before we give up here today. So I'm gonna flip over to the desktop. And we're gonna go look up a little bit from text and I can see what it says, see if it will tell us anything interesting. Oops. Okay. Uh, we want that. We want it. Actually, we might want it later. So, text. Uh, This thing, we're going to see some. I got 105 pads, is what I got. Uh, here we go. This set of 105 Okay, so you, you replace them. So here's a list of some which have that style of contact foam foil mylar pads. <coughs> you should add uh, the steps into that list. I actually emailed them, didn't hear back from them. Uh, the more computers get verified, the more computers can be repaired with a bit less headache. Tested on certain computers. I'd love to add yours. Okay. <clears throat> Our goal is to provide fully assembled pads that require no deconstruction, cleaning, cutting, punching, or gluing. Okay, so the, the removal and replacement of a quick video of one pad. So we can like. Uh, I failed to mention in the video below that it's easiest to have the key pressed uh, when changing the pad. I popped a pen into the key's raised. It makes it easier to get the grooves and get out the old pads, I think. So. Uh, loading alcohol pads, doing that too, so you know, do the server corrosion, that's not a real problem. Uh, you just, when you test your pads after replacing them all, be sure to put the screws back on board, not just a few of them, because um, otherwise the pads might not make contact properly. Uh, all right, let's see. Insulation is the same. So let us, let's see this replacement, shall we? Okay, the volume's off, but we don't wanna, oh. Oh. I mean, we have very similar stems to this, right? But, or the white, yeah, the white, whatever they call it, stems or sliders. Or... Oh, yeah, because, okay, so, but ours are going to go inside a rubber dome, but so those just pop off. There's no glue, but the white thing's holding them in place. So when they replace it, they just push it back in there. Like the mylar replacing that up, hopefully. Put it in there. Put it back in there. I, I could have left it in the book safe, but it, it's fine. So we're going to pop it back in there. It should stick. And then that plunger goes up and down <clears throat> once it's stuck in place. Now, with our foam and foil, you know, dome and foil, I'm not sure. If it might have needed glue or had glue to stick it to the top of the dome because nothing about the plastic stem is going to hold it in place. Whereas this one, it fits inside these chambers, you know what I mean? Um, 
and springs above it that pull it up, that hold it, hold it in place, that can pull that, pull that up. <clears throat> so that wasn't didn't tell us enough about what we needed. But um, let's look at this tear down again when we get to here. So we got our our plastic is definitely over the definitely on top of the rubber domes, and then. And then we'll see some upside down and some rubber bones, I suppose. If you keep looking a little bit, we'll end up doing a uh, little head on it. So we'll play from here and see if we get a picture of. So the. I think there needs to be glue, if you ask me, because nothing else is going to hold it to the top of the dome. <coughs> so, flip it over, is it over? No, flip it over first, please. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Please. No. I already know what's on there, but it's. When I was cleaning it, I ended up showing you the disc. I ended up <coughs> the, the plastic disc, see through, was in there and it was. I had to, I had to like get, get it to peel off. So, so I think we need glue. I'm kind of wondering if rubber cement works. I don't know. Let's, let's see. <coughs> glue. Plastic to rubber. You see what this says? Plastic glue. Not tight. Super glue. Best glue for rubber to plastic. Crazy glue. It's not plastic though. It is. What is this? I think it is plastic as well. He said, "Is an acrylic resin. The main ingredient is an acrylic mine and it transforms a plastic to a plastic state after curing." If I could just put a little tiny dab of that on, can you super glue rubber to plastic? Yes, super glue will stick. But remember, super glue is not tough. <coughs> super glue cannot move that way. Normally, you should pick your adhesive to match the base for two. Okay. Does super glue stick to rubber? What else we got? Um, yeah, you just eat. How do you glue silicone rubber to plastic? Doesn't have to be the same. Not really, but let's see it. No, I don't want to watch a video. Tech bond. Tech bond. And heat. Mm -hmm. It sounds like I don't really want to have to have a heat gun for all this. <coughs> what, is the, what is the thin piece of plastic, like overhead projector plastic? What is overhead projector sheet plastic? It kind of reminds me of that. Plastic sheets. Transparency. A thin sheet of Cellulose acetate glue cellulose acetate to uh, to rubber. To rubber. Uh, flexible glue. What's a flexible glue for stretchy rubber? Plastic sheets. Nothing adheres well to those. <laughs> yeah, this is saying be careful that if it is plastic sheet, a pet sheet, then you know, crazy glue will work. So. <clears throat> I mean, what's the harm, right? I can just take it out and do it over if I don't wreck the rubber dome with the crazy glue later. Let me look at the 
got that crazy glue. Blue, stretchy, rubber, and what happens later when you do this. What is the other adhesion? Yeah, it's a great catch all. Does super glue stick to rubber when you're not? Yes, it'll stick to rubber, but it's. I already read that. How to glue rubber to rubber permanently? Vulcanize, don't want it. Rubber, oh, rubber cement. Contact cement. That's why I made, let me read, read that. Uh, rubber cement work to glue rubber to plastic. Checking me, you stupid internet. Uh, what's this thing say? It says I can use it. It's a little safer, I think. Uh, how long does rubber cement last? It should last indefinitely. Air exposure will cause the rubber cement to thicken and become unusable. This sounds dumb, but is rubber cement glue safe for rubber? Yeah. I mean, is it describing rubber as the glue is kind of rubbery, or is it saying it's good to... What's the, what does rubber cement mean? Well, it's made of elastic polymers like latex, and it's an adhesive with fluid, flex, texture, and, fluid texture and flexible bond. So. It dries out wrinkling. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go rubber cement. It sounds a lot freaking safer than uh, super glue. Okay. Thanks. I feel like I did some due diligence there. Now let me see how I might want to uh, do this. So let me put this back out of the way. Let's get some. Uh, <coughs> Some that we're gonna try and we get my rubber cement. No, it has rules in it. Now we're gonna make this sucker last, so uh, easy brush applicator, which is gigantic. I think I'm gonna use one of my uh, tiny paint brushes. Excellent for mounting posts. Photos, cut and paste jobs and repairs. Brush an even coat on one surface, join immediately. <coughs> uh, yeah, I still think it's too, this, this, uh, this thing is like too big for the job, so. Okay, I, I have, I have room. Let me figure out how we're gonna do this. See if I can keep her in the picture here, maybe. And get a little paintbrush from my toolbox. <clears throat> this is my Select Artiste mixed media set uh, acrylic, watercolor, oil, three piece set. Selection includes. Filbert 4, flat shader 6, and round 2. So I'm going to do flat shader 6. Because it looks like it matches what we're trying to do here. I'll show you in a second. How are these stuck to this? There we go. Alright, so I got this uh, paint brush. And then we'll lightly apply it to a couple of these, see how we're doing. I wish I had easier access to the glue, but I'm going to basically dip it in here and get some paint on it now. Let's see. I don't want it to have that much though, but eesh.
So, one done, eight million to go? Or? Yeah, I just need to go over get some help or something. Yeah. Let's see to flip them over when they're... I wonder if I should get my tweezers as well and hold on to them. Hold on, let me go. I guess the idea might be I kind of go ahead and stab the head like that and then flip it when I'm done. This one. Get it. Like, and it's just going to stay in the line. Flip it and set it. It's not coming off. Oh, and I ripped on my <laughs> desk. Allie, I need help. Yeah? Will you get some little, one of those ceramic bowls or something and a napkin or two, or a paper towel for my rubber cement experiments? So, So maybe I can rest this uh, glue thing, my paintbrush in this bowl. It's kind of a mess. It was dripping, right? So and I'm left-handed, but all right. Um, so I didn't like the needle nose pliers thing because it stuck to the needle nose anyways, and I had to use two hands. So <laughs> kind of gonna have to use the free hand to. Uh, so I'm turning the bag of touch yeah, left okay. over and getting some of them out here. So get them all just lined up the right way maybe. And, uh, Down. And uh, start, start painting, flipping it here, so you can paint it. Put it down, flip it over, drop it in, push on it. Look at them all just bobbing. Yeah, they're on there. They're starting right now. Flip it over. I have keyboard too. Yes. Yeah. Um, Yogi's on. If you take my car, could you move it a little more oh. to the right? I feel literally. No. So right now it's. <clears throat> it is rubber cement. Yeah, when it dries, of course, you could, <clears throat> you know, roll it up in your fingers and get rid of it and stuff. But I need this to work. So uh, basically, I'm saying though that when I'm in the process of flipping it over and doing stuff, I'm get it's sticking certain edges, and those might be touching the rubber. Uh, let's try to do a bunch of singles for a minute. Let me change on these things. Okay. Yeah, it's so you can see I just got some on the mine wire there. But, um, after they dry, we might have to make a second pass and try to get it, get any rubber glue off the mine Like, let's see if I bring this up, you can kind of see that there's some on there. But what else are you gonna do? This is real life, right? It's not pretty, and maybe oh, some shit. other someone else probably has a more delicate hand than I do. But uh, <laughs> I don't. I know my God is myself, so we're gonna make this oh, work. Oh, that's an accident. We're gonna pick up some more techniques as we go along. Yeah. But right for now, I'm just trying to get it to stand on its side without sticking too many, but it, to 
I'd say that no, it looks no like it wants to fit in the middle, so that part seems great. Like there seems to be Bearing equal amount of space surrounding the the piece after I shove it in the top of the dome, upside down top of the inside top of the dome. So, so we're gonna make a little file over here of the completions. <sighs> and try to kill some time <clears throat> talking while we do this. Or I can I might do that experiment where I'm gonna pause the video and then come back when I'm almost done and put it together because I here's here's the deal. I use YouTube Live, not because I want people to watch me live, but because before that I was using my camera and then I'd have to put it in Final Cut Pro and upload it to YouTube and it was like too many steps, so I was just trying to cut down on steps is what I'm trying to do here. So let's try this experiment. I believe I can pause the uh, OBS stream and uh, or stop it and then start it later. And YouTube thinks everything's still streaming, so we'll just pick up when the OBS stream starts again. So that'll be my equivalent of fast forwarding. So let's try that experiment. See you in the see you in a while. Okay, uh, we're back, and there's just a few left because I wanted to show you uh, what was going down here. Uh, let's see, I saved the last row just kind of to show some uh, what I ended up doing for a process. Like, we'll do these two singles first, but <clears throat> basically, I dip my um, this in the rubber cement. I kind of realized that holding these, having these, having the uh, mylar upside down, uh, so I had them all pile these like spread out over over here. But because then I can grab that, grab them, and then have the underside, and then give a quick dab, and then press it in or drop it in, and then press down on it, and then basically that was. That was the, the trick. As you can see, I got like rubber cement is not the greatest to work with, but we're doing the best we can here. So I grab the upside down, I give it a little dab, I push it in the hole, or drop it in the hole, and push on it to get it to stick. And so you can see, like basically, if I I kind of had it where some of these longer rows, I could do a whole row of just dab and stick and plop and push. Oh. And dab and plop and push. Yeah, I just say we get this turbo yes. slow, man. Dab. So I don't, you know, I wasn't too liberal, and in fact, I was probably too light on some, but maybe these are too light on the glue, but it's just my guess. and. It could be wrong. Maybe it requires super glue, but it, I figure this is the least damaging, and that if things aren't sticking and it's not working later, I can take it back apart and get all the rubber cement off and go for super glue. So it seems a safer step one. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out for a sec. And, uh, oops. Is that all the way out? That's all the way out. Um, so yeah, we did every single one of these, but the problem I saw was, I rewatched the old video to kind of get a head start on what we were gonna do next, and I think this is probably dry enough we could actually rebuild the keyboard, but I wanted to give you a heads up on a couple no. problems so, of why I'm gonna wait. I cleaned every inch of this board except these, uh, these guys, these sliders, and I was gonna debate be out of impatience, not not cleaning them, but now I changed my mind to clean them because there were a few on the on the keyboard that had a different setup, 
these did not have these they wanted firmer firmer stuff so they ended up uh, putting a spring on this side so that's gonna with the keycap on it that's gonna pull things up and so uh, they didn't have a rubber dome under them they just had the foam and foil because of the spring so this would be exactly how a uh, 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 Keytronic foam and foil board would work. It's that, that the concept that keeps it from making the electrical connection is the spring is holding it up and you have to push past that spring to get it to touch the PCB. So there's this set of them that uh, were that way and they they have some other traits like the corners cut out so they're I think they're LED maybe they had to do that to achieve LED lighting or something probably uh, I suppose yeah so I can show you on the top of the keyboard uh, the case that it would be these ones right so that's where your LED lights gonna go so I guess if we get out our PCB we should also be able to see it on there so here's our PCB and yeah there's your LEDs right there, 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 and there so those ones were done differently just to get the light to be able to be exposed. Um, so as a result, I need to fix, take the, let's take uh, the pad off of here. And while we're doing that, let's try to determine if there's, I'm going to put my, might use the USB mic so, but this is our one chance to see if we can prove that glue is holding these on there, or something, on all of this stuff. But, uh, so I can see this, I guess you can't see it too great, but uh, I'm going to try to yeah, get this disc out. So it's, it's got some pretty hefty stick to it. <laughs> if I can get that on the camera. So what it was, I don't know, but it's still, is it still sticky? Could have been different than what was in the rubber domes, I suppose, but um, I wish I was better at chemistry and knew how to tell what, what glue I should use for this stuff. But as you can tell, I used rubber cement. I was going to maybe use cra crazy glue, but I'll probably post it on Dust Story and see what, what they say. But, um, so all I'm going to do to wrap up this video is um, clean off the bottoms of these and then I'm going to ultrasonic clean the, the whole set and let it dry and then we'll be able to reassemble and reassemble is going to be kind of a biatch. I looked at the video to see where the kind of the bigger rubber groupings went and the singles went and that's when I discovered, oh yeah, there's these LED prop that are done differently with the spring for foam and foil. Um, so I think we're in good shape to do it, but it, it, it's going to take a little bit of reverse, uh, you know, reversing what was done when I took it apart. And I'll show you a technique that I might use differently as I end this video. Um, Wow, those circles are off center so that they could, they're off center so they could keep the same uh, diameter, but they're shoved in a corner so that they didn't have to make smaller circles or different ones. So that, and then I don't know, did they move the contacts up on the, as a result? Let's see if we can spot that on the PCB. No, they just, you know, I guess I would have expected them to, these, to be veered away from that, the center. I just think it's, you know, not going to fit nicely. It's going to be more down in this quadrant, but it seems like a little bit of a design flaw. But, hey, I guess it worked for them. Uh, what do we got here? A couple more to, to do. And hopefully a good cleaning will make these slide a little better. I wasn't 
I don't think anyone ever, I don't think the factory would, you know, for this Delma slider stuff or sliders period, but I don't think they lived them back in the day, so I wasn't planning on living these, but uh, hopefully just a good cleaning and they'll slide, slide well. Okay, so that's, the, uh, this batch is ready to go. I'm not too worried about mixing these in with this other than how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's good to know there's eight of them. But they're obviously different than the rest because they have a little notch out of the corner. Like, you know, so it's pretty obvious. Okay. Uh, so that's what's coming next uh, between the videos here is the ultrasonic cleaning. Um, uh, let me show you the concept when I was watching a video. I was kind of like, I think I had it upside down this way because of how I opened it. And so that made the PCB kind of laying there like this and I was removing stuff. But what made, let me figure out kind of what was going on with these LED ones was uh, noticing that there was the fact that the, the things were in there upside down. And so even though, so we took it apart a certain way, but I think I'll be putting it back this way. So let's try it real quick to experiment. You know, basically, I think I got one LED out there. Shoot. Okay. I'm gonna get one LED if I can find one. Oh my God, where are you? Well, it doesn't matter, but the point is kind of uh, that it's probably easier to set these all in there and uh, set the, the domes on them, the rubber domes, and then set the PCB over that and it's going to slot into here and then we can squish it and flip it over. Like that seems like by far the easiest way to uh, reassemble this. So that's a heads up for what I think I'll be doing in that video. It's almost there. Then we have the whole electronics problem like how we're going to get this thing to talk to USB. But, and that's exciting because I've never done it. But so I am looking forward to that. But uh, so that's it for this video. Let me show you. I'm going to pan over a little bit. Or try, I'll take the phone off for a second. Too. Whoa. Jeez. All right, I dropped my phone, but I think I can put it. And this is I can get it back on. I was just trying to show you one last thing. Uh, but not if the device doesn't connect. Okay. Well, I was going to show you a picture of all the all the upside down rubber domes with their foil, foam and foil in them that's glued in there with rubber cement. But it takes too much to get this back to work. So that's enough for now, and uh, I'll see you guys.